Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to combine two vectors into a data frame using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vectors that we can create with the lines 2 to 6 of the code. So in line 2 I'm creating our first example vector. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object appears which is called vec1. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our first vector is containing the values 1 to 10. And then I'm creating another vector in line 5 of the code which is called vec2. And this vector is consisting of the letters a to j. Now let's assume that we want to combine these two vector objects in a data frame. Then we can apply the data frame function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this line of code I'm applying the data frame function to our two vector objects. And we need to separate these two vector objects by a comma. And then we need to store the output of the data frame function in a new data object which we call in this case my data. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame has been created and we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new data frame contains two columns which are called VEC1 and VEC2. And as you can see, the first column consists of the values of our first vector and the second column consists of the values of the second vector. You can also see that this is a data object with a data frame class. However, we can also create a matrix based on our values. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this video, which starts at line 11 of the code. So in this line of code I'm applying the cbind function to combine our two vector objects. And within the cbind function we also need to specify the two names of our vectors separated by a comma. And then we are assigning the output of this to a new matrix object which is called my matrix. So if you run line 11 of the code you can see that another data object appears at the top right of our studio which is called my matrix. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another output which is showing the same values as in the previous example where we have created a data frame. However, this time we have created a matrix based on the cbind function. So in this tutorial I have explained how to combine two vectors in a data frame or a matrix using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content and the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.